Good afternoon to everybody. My name is Klaban, and I am a um, member of the board of company Teco uh, Advanced Automation. Uh, as you can see, we are producing controllers for machines, buildings, transport, process, and so on. So I am coming from the area where the control is the basic. Uh, until now, I had a lot of sensing about sensors uh, and uh, we are on the side where uh, the action has to be done. So who we are? We think we are number one in uh, PLC uh, product uh, manufacturers here in Czech Republic and uh, we, our, uh, our brand, our controllers are named Tecomat, Foxtrot or TC700 is a, um, we can say the name, first name of our, our controllers, while the Tecomat is a family name. And we are a member of PLC Open, it's Open uh, Association uh, taking care about uh, standardization according IEC, 61131, so we are not mm, bringing uh, some new wave or uh, separate wave of programming, so we strong keep the industry standard uh, this uh, number of, of IEC uh, standard. Uh, we have about 40 uh, years of experience, so the first PLC was produced in Colin uh, here 50 kilometers from the Prague in 1976. So this year is 40 uh, uh, years. And uh, what we keep strongly is uh, backward compa compatibility of the programming of the system. So uh, it's way of saving investment in the programming. Uh, so all programs running on uh, the previous controllers are running on the new one. So uh, uh, at the top you can see the smallest um, controller, uh, the Comat Foxtrot. Uh, we produce it also uh, in OEM versions for different customers, which has the good uh, uh, reason uh, to, to hit uh, that uh, the engine is a Foxtrot. Uh, we uh, developed two years ago new, uh, new, pardon, new uh, version. We call it Open Frame, uh, so it's still uh, still uh, controller PLC, but with different flexible uh, I/O uh, I/O input outputs. And here you can see big modular system, which is fully. Uh, per, uh, per fully compatible with programming uh, with, with the Foxtrot. Uh, the TC700 is an ecosystem of a lot of uh, different inputs, outputs, modules. Uh, here you can see the programming uh, environment, we call it Mosaic. And uh, here in Mosaic you can prepare uh, web pages which are integrated in the system. Uh, and uh, there is some features like data logger or firmware updater. Maybe I will s speak about it later. Here is a Foxtrot overview with uh, another ecosystem. And on the level of programming, it is the same as STC 700. And what is here in blue uh, rectangle is um, a lot of uh, central units. Uh, all of them are equal from the pro programming po point of view, but um, the inputs are outputs are different, and you can see the versions without displays and with displays. Here, uh, all of them have Ethernet, and uh, because inside there is a web mm, web server and internal web pages. Uh, the system can be integrated in any local area network and if there is a, uh, some gateway to internet, it works also in internet. And uh, there is, on this level, uh, you can connect it with different, uh, say, families of devices uh, with different functions. So 
Uh, here you can see SCADA system, uh, which is standard uh, production um, standard uh, product for uh, industry control. Uh, but uh, you can see here also smart TV uh, because we have inside a web server which is compatible with current uh, browsers in integrated in smart TV. So you need nothing more than uh, to put both uh, your smart TV with the uh, controller inside the home and you can see and control it from your sm smart TV. Uh, what is important here is uh, uh, cloud services. You can find their logo of Microsoft Azure and uh, so we are open also for such open standards. Uh, and let me, yeah, uh, here are inputs outputs uh, from uh, industry area uh, for uh, very quick uh, reaction within five milliseconds uh, to read and write input outputs. Here you can see set of the communication units and or communication modules and one of them is a, a head or the master or one of uh, the uh, point of IQRF, uh, IQRF network and here or sorry, here you can see a lot of uh, in a lot of sensors, actors, which can be used directly in interior of your houses, or this this is this uh, this line, uh, and we are not dependent, or customer is not dependent on one design uh, inside the room, so we uh, we can deliver it in. Uh, say in Gira version in ABB in Medicina or so. You can find here also sensors with the high um, IP, IP65 coverage or uh, modules which can be embedded. Here I am speaking about two wire bus which is quite um, not for this conference so let's concentrate on this area where uh, we have also several such mm, sensors, such modules uh, running on IQRF modules. Uh, we uh, call it RFOX because we are using IQRF modules uh, on lower level and we did uh, one layer higher how to integrate it uh, in our system. And here you can see four masters under each of them can be up to 64 uh, modules in in distance which can be covered by IQRF uh, signal. And uh, this uh, version are now in process of innovation, how to integrate their uh, DAP, DPA, um, DPA protocol to be fully compatible uh, with this version and to enable uh, all sensors which are here prepared for it to be integrated under um, control of this of this um, controller. Here I have a picture. Uh, where I would like to explain the position of our controller because now uh, everybody is speaking about uh, Internet of Things, about uh, uh, connection, uh, especially to the to the cloud, and we are not our controllers are not working in the cloud, but they are uh, working in the fog, somewhere uh, around the um, cloud. Uh, where all sensors and actors must run quickly in uh, in cycles uh, which can be repeated say 10 uh, 20 times per second so the delay of the reading of sensor uh, can have a, a wrong influence on the uh, reliability and 
controllability of the process. So uh, we, our philosophy is uh, to have here a very strong and powerful uh, controller, uh, computing power uh, to do uh, all control, to sense everything and and contro control everything, valves, uh, engines, uh, propellers, and so on. Uh, here I have a picture uh, of, oh, sorry, uh, reading, uh, reading the electricity meter. So uh, some companies are saying we have energy management, we are reading as zero pulses from the electricity meters. So we found that uh, for some application, spe especially in photovoltaic uh, business, uh, is too, uh, too lazy. Uh, so we developed uh, our own uh, electricity meters, uh, reading uh, all four, uh, four um, three phases or four phases uh, in 200 milliseconds and we are uh, able to present it here uh, reading something in the near the column uh, in this uh, quick uh, quick r uh, speed uh, so i will show it you later if somebody is uh, interesting in it so this is uh, controller but also it can be the gateway uh, to to the cloud so from this we can write directly to azure or to some uh, free uh, clouds uh, to put uh, all information directly to your smartphone tablet or any pc uh, i see that uh, uh, internet of things uh, and the view on Internet of Things coming from IT companies is that they are here in, in the cloud, in the servers, and um, they offer uh, software services, and, pres and they present uh, the result on the iPhone or iPhone smartphone or some something here. But w w the question is how the control should be done. So there must be some uh, way back to uh, to the to your home to uh, do some on off uh, or uh, some proportional control so uh, we respect that here is the uh, world of things uh, we where the uh, result of all sensors are somewhere in the cloud and it's accessible through the api, API. And uh, we are on way how to read these uh, sensors because uh, we don't offer some strict uh, one solution. We are open to any standards. And in such case, this controller can uh, combine IQRF. All technologies uh, can be combined if it is necessary. Here you can see how it uh, looks the uh, electricity meter uh, for four phases uh, comparing with our controller its result uh, here uh, now we are working uh, because mm, here was said something about smart cities smart houses uh, our approach is this sorry if something is in check but here on the uh, right hand side is uh, home automation and here i can <laughs> it's a, 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 some uh, sort of soft home automation running lights running chosy um, and so on uh, and here is a part of house uh, an energy management uh, of the house so for it we have quick uh, electricity meter uh, controller itself which can communicate with uh, inverters from photovoltaic with hy hybrid photovoltaics um, we have our own battery management uh, we can uh, connect to any battery storage sorry I have not here power wall 
but there is a lot of other uh, producer of batteries and also uh, accumulation in the heat and in the t t t heat pump or, or the air conditioning. So uh, we are now ready to control each uh, all energy energies in the house. We d don't exclude uh, also the electromobiles. And what is important here, we are able to communicate with the utilities, with their own own clouds, own own, uh, uh, own energy business. So such a house equipped with our controller is ready to be integrated in the smart grid, and this is a gateway. So in this uh, in this area, we can integrate also all our, our IQRF um, uh, sensors or actors. So now some uh, application uh, of references of our, our customers because we are only producer and we are depending on system integrators. We don't apply our own hardware in the reality. Uh, so you can find, I think this is the biggest installation uh, where in, s s in 10 floors and there are together up to 180 uh, valves on heating uh, and each of it is uh, connected to IQRF to the central unit. Uh, our controller are used also in tunnels in such uh, such hotel. It's a congress hotel in the Holland where you can see here three controllers controlling uh, lights and everything. Uh, audio, video, video matrix, and uh, all is controlled from the uh, web page inside. Here you can see how installation in the house can look like if uh, it is uh, controlled, uh, it is equipped with the system. Uh, each uh, each uh, equipment can be connected. And we are working wor worldwide, so uh, you can find uh, Foxtrot in all continents. Now we are going to be uh, certified also in U US and UL laboratories. Um, in Estonia, this is a control of the uh, biomass uh, heating. This is a hospital in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. And um, uh, our controllers are used also not only on fixed uh, fixed uh, <laughs> sites, but also uh, you can find it uh, on the boats. So this is a uh, catamaran built in South Africa, and uh, happy owners came uh, for it there, and um, they make a first trip over the Atlantic Ocean and through this uh, journey uh, some updates was done uh, um, done uh, in the software and uh, the update was done from Holland so it is, a, it is a reference of our Holland partner who have never been in South Africa and uh, also mm, he, he have not been uh, on the on the Atlantic. So uh, it is a control panel of such catamaran. He use it also for, um, here you can see OEM version of uh, Foxtrot uh, used uh, for this uh, fire brigade car uh, where it takes care about the power supply and so on. Here, uh, here you can see a lot of bands where which was put together in some applications so we can see that our controller is open uh, for communication with any third party uh, system uh, here we uh, together with our majority owner uh, company GeoWeb we can uh, supply also solutions for bigger projects 
so this is a SCADA system, this is a smart grid, smart metering, big database. iFoxtrot is an application for uh, iPad and Marushka is um, uh, for, uh, for geo, geo uh, portals. Um, big buildings and in the smart city you can find uh, a lot of real application we already done. So here we can see uh, the uh, the uh, parking sensors uh, based on IQRF available on some API. Thank you for your attention.